Okay, so let's look at depreciation for vehicles and specifically the three different ones. We've got a new, old and sold one. So I always split it into those three categories. I'm going to start with a new one, the BMW. It's the first bullet by number seven, which is probably the easiest. So you do know that you bought this BMW on the 1st of October 24. And then, where are you sitting now? You're sitting on 30 June 25. So if you go and count those months, you will add up nine months. So the new vehicle is nine months old. Take your 820, which is the cost price. It's an easy one. There's no um, diminishing method. So you times it by the 20%, and you times it by your nine months, and your depreciation for your new vehicle is 120 3,000. That's the first part of your question. Then we're going to go to the sold one because they talk about Bruce Jeffrey selling or lending this car to his son. Okay, and it was crashed, but let's just work out the depreciation so we can see what this car is actually worth when it crashed. So if you look again at the dates, our financial year starts on the 1st of July. 24 and when did we crash this car we crashed it so this car was in existence until the 30th of april 25 again if you go count those months you're going to add them up to 10 months so this car was with us for additional 10 months what was the cost price of the car they tell us it was 480 again 20 percent and you work it out for 10 months so my depreciation, and this is just a little piece I'm going to add for this year, is 80000 They did mention that there was some prior depreciation of seventy two. We'll come back to that later. Then finally, the one that's normally the most complicated is the vehicles that stay behind. But there's a trick in this question. And um, if you don't read it carefully, it will catch you out. It says here in the second bullet, this BMW that you've bought have been recorded. So if you look at your trial balance and you see that your depreciation or your cost price for your vehicles is 2880, you should know that inside there is the BMW. So if I want to work out what my depreciation on the old or staying behind vehicles are, I need to take out the BMW. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that number from the trial balance 2880 i'm minusing the bmw why because i've just done the dmw for nine months i can't have it in here because this is purely for 12 months and in the same time what is also in here that shouldn't be here is the 480 the 480 i had to do separately because it was for whoopsie this is 100 12 months Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to minus the 480 out there as well. And we're going to have the cost price of the stay behind existing um, vehicles, 1,580,000. 1, That's my total. So you take that number and you just work out what's 20% for 12 months. So you can leave out the 12 over 12, and your answer is 316. So in total, if you now have to go back, and you add these three amounts, so you've got the new one, the sold one, and the old one. Your total depreciation for the year, okay, comes to, if you add those all up, so when you go to your trial balance, I mean in your balance sheet, and you're busy with note 3, this, this number 519 is going to come into play because you're going to put it under depreciation in the middle with movements. What's also going to be used now is we're going to use this 80,000 to work out what was the asset disposal for the vehicle that I sold. So let's take a look at that one. 
me just get a, whoops, another cookie pin. That was one big. And there was another one before, if you saw that. Acid disposal. So, just do it straight forward. Don't let that part that the insurance is going to pay you confuse you at all. We're going to go with the cost price of the vehicle that I sold. It was 480 I'm looking at my accumulated depreciation on this vehicle. So, first of all, they mentioned that there was 72000 prior. And I've just added another 80000 to this depreciation. It's a fairly new car. And therefore, my depreciation is sitting on 152000 now, by just having those two numbers, I can work out the carrying value. All this paper's moving. Carrying value. Come on. You take your 480 minus 152. What is this car worth when you crashed it? 328. That was what it was worth. Okay. So at least I know that now. But they do mention that you are going to get 40,000 Rand back for it. So let's just say it's a bank amount, 40,000, we're going to be paid 40,000 back. If I have to balance this as I normally would do with the asset disposal, I pick up that there's a big, massive loss. And the loss is 288. Now this number goes into your income statement and that will be under the expenses as you're doing the income statement you will show that number if you go to your balance sheet where you are saying movements and its disposal at carrying value 328 is the number that goes in there for the car that you've lost out on so that's basically it the only other thing is in movements just make sure that you add that 820 and at the top in your note 3 the beginning amount for your vehicles you're going to have to adjust it's not what it is in the trial balance 2.8 million and 80 it should be less than that because the bmw only gets added within the movements that's it